South Korea's mission to be carbon neutral by 2050 continues and, in fact, is more active than ever. One ongoing project is renovating old buildings to make them more eco friendly. Our Shin Ha Young has this report. In order to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, South Korea must reduce greenhouse gas emissions from buildings, which accounted for one-fourth of the country's total emissions by 32.8 percent compared to 2018 figures by 2030. But this is not an easy task as many older buildings weren't built to current standards that take emissions into account. With these older buildings in mind, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport launched a project to support those who plan to participate in green remodeling, which aims to improve the environment indoors while reducing greenhouse gas emissions from buildings. This was a police station for 40 years, and after undergoing green remodeling, it's now an energy-efficient office building with its energy cost 65 percent lower compared to before. Installing solar panels helped transform this office into a more eco-friendly place. In particular, the building integrated photovoltaic or BIPV system on the exterior walls not only saves energy but also enhances the appearance of the structure. It also has a building energy management system to monitor and control the building's energy needs. This daycare center is a much cozier place for children during the winter since going green. An energy-efficient thermal pane window using low emissivity glass allows sunlight in during winter and keeps heat inside. In summer, the windows block out heat while still letting in natural light. We used to consume around 14,000 kilowatt hour of electricity per month, but after going green, it went down by 2,000. This place was freezing during the winter, but now it's so cozy and warm that even the kids can run around barefoot. This eco-friendly university library improved its energy efficiency by 50 percent compared to before. It uses a heat recovery ventilator to improve indoor air quality by replacing stale indoor air with fresh air from outside. Starting this year, the green remodeling project for public buildings has expanded to senior centers and public libraries. As for the private sector, the government decided to provide more financial aid to participants. About 12,000 private buildings undergo green remodeling annually. But last year, due to the rate hikes, there were fewer participants. So this year, the government is focusing more on private buildings. He added that green remodeling has become more attractive these days as energy bills rise. Shin Ha-young, Arirang News.